Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Then you should do something about it. You are in a position to make a difference. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. If you really want to help, you'll figure out a way. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful. Please. The same goes for you. I will.
What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Whose is that? Someone who left. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you, I haven't seen him for a couple days. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun. This back and forth. We should really do it more often, but, uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. Paper towels in the number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Not sure I believe you. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Look, 
It's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grim. funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. A big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh. Chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
He's had enough. This never happened. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck. You wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. The guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. I'm not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. 
What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jeez.